it's Lacey and welcome back to our space. So today in our space, I am going to be sharing with you guys some winter wedding decor. My good friend Christina is going to be having a winter wedding and she showed me this picture I will insert here and said she liked the feel of this. However, she does not like the candle that is on top of it and she does not even require the pieces to light up. So she gave me creative license to come up with something for her wedding that is not only budget friendly, but very kind of rustic looking. And that includes the colors navy blue, silver, and white. And actually she hasn't come up with the exact color of navy blue, so we won't be including that color. So we are going to stick with some silvers and whites. And she also states that she may, just may put a hint of pink in there. So we may do something along those lines as well. So as you can see in front of me, I have two reef forms. They are both from Dollar Tree. They are the wood blend reefs. Dollar Tree has put these out now for the spring season. And I am also going to be utilizing this plaque that's from Dollar Tree. I had this in my stash already. They do have plaques similar to this. I'm not sure it's the same shape. It doesn't make a difference the shape. And I'm also going to go ahead and use one of these glass cutting boards that has the feet on it from Dollar Tree in this DIY as well. So let's see what I can come up with. Here we go.
first of our two projects and this is the one that is more reminiscent of the picture that she showed me and I think I really like how it turned out. I actually already sent the pictures to her and she loves it too. I think the touch of the lovebirds or doves, I don't know what they are, they came from Dollar Tree at the top. It makes it sweet and special and more wedding like. The heart hanging from the middles in its natural state because we are going to add her monogram of her last name letter on one side and then their names on the other side for like a keepsake. And then all of the other ribbons and stuff that are on it are just plain white loops that I glued underneath. I'm not sure if I got that on camera because she is going to put the color of her wedding, whatever it ends up being in there as well, or I am going to do that once she makes a final decision on the color of blue. That's why I did not put her name on or the monogram on the heart as well. All in all, I love how this turned out. It was really simple to do. The hardest part is to get the reforms glued to the base. You do have to hold it for quite a while until the glue is completely dry because these pieces aren't super heavy, but they're heavy enough that if it's not on there straight, it will look wonky. All right, on to project number two. Okay, and here we have the second project in this, and I love how this one turned out as well. As you can see, it has a Voltive sitting in some Epsom salt in a fish bowl, all from Dollar Tree, along with the Reform, the base, and the poinsettias. The two picks on either side came from Hobby Lobby or Joanne Fabrics. I'm not sure exactly which because I have them in my stash, along with the extra leaves that I tucked in here and there just to give it that nice woodland feel. In the beginning, I was showing you that I had a candle sitting there just so you could see that a LED candle will sit there on the smaller side. Please do not, if you make something like this, use a real candle and try to light it. It will catch on fire. However, if you use any size LED, whether it be a round or one of the short ones that they have at Dollar Tree, it will fit in there nicely. I just really kind of like the fishbowl effect with the roundness of the reef and it turned out lovely to me. So Comment down below, which one of these do you like better? I think the bigger one gives a romantic feel. This one is romantic, but it also is very rustic and very woodland. And my girlfriend likes both of them. I showed them both to her and I don't know. I can't pick which one is my favorite. So that is it for this video. I want to say thank you very much for watching, for liking, and always sharing my videos. And if you are not a member here at Lacey Space, I don't know why not, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, become a member, hang out with us for a while. We have a lot of fun here. As you can see, we make a lot of cool things here. Also, if you like, you can follow me on Instagram. It's Lacey Space, the same way that it's spelled here, and I will catch all of you in my next video. Bye, loves.